All right, everybody, we are out here in Jordan, Minnesota, and we are at the Minnesota's largest candy store. Look at it, it goes on for miles. So we're gonna go inside and check a look. All right. Boy, let me tell you something. When they say Minnesota's largest candy store, they're not kidding. They got everything that you could ever want in here. I mean everything. Probably a whole lot more that you shouldn't want in here. Girls, let's see what you got. Would it show us what you got today? Pocky? What is what is Pocky? Hold it up. Okay. You got some sour, okay. You got a lot of Japanese candy there, I see. You got any British candy? Romulan ale? Okay, what else? <laughs> so, we're gonna go and uh, see if we can find some fudge. So, hey, here's somebody that works here. Hi! You work here. We really like your place. You do. Um, so where's your fudge at? Our fudge is going to be up by the bakery, like right in front of it. Oh, okay. There's a whole so I must have walked up. Now, I'm on a quest for fudge. I got to get my, got to get my hands on some fudge right now. It says it's in the middle. So I think we've approached the middle area. The area known to have the world's largest selection of fudge. Oh, Rocky Road fudge. Chocolate some more. Here we are. Chocolate some more fudge. Chocolate peanut butter fudge. I'm looking for something with clusters. Because I hear that they've got uh, a cluster nugget here. So, boxes of pies. How you doing? So, is this primarily your fudge area over here? Okay. All right. How are the pies doing today? Good. Selling lots of pies? Yep. Yeah, what's your favorite you know, pie? Uh, I like the Dutch apple. The Dutch there. apple? Yeah. So you guys make all the pies in-house here? Yep. Really? Have you ever made a pie? Yes, I have. What, what's your favorite kind of pie to make? To make, um, I like doing apple because it's the easiest. The easiest? What's the hardest pie for you to make? I would say the Dutch apple. The Dutch apple, but it's your favorite to eat though, right? Yep. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, so how long have you worked here, young fella? Three years. Three years? Yep. What do you mean, nine? How old are you? What do you mean, nine? Oh, I'm 15. 15? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, out of this vast hooray, Vast array of fudge. Sorry. Um, there's some women there. They're going for the fudge as well. I have decided on the Rocky Road fudge. This is the one. This stuff isn't cheap. By any means. And, uh, but when's the next time I'm going to be in this neighborhood, right, Nigel? All right. Way to spoil a mood, asparagus. See, one of the things that I should uh, mention about this place, um, uh, one of the things that make it so unique is its uh, refusal to support anything uh, as far as high tech. Like, this place... Um, it does not have a website. It does not have a Facebook. It doesn't even have a phone here. You can't even call this place. And if you listen, the music that's being piped in is good old polka music. And from what I understand, the owner of this place uh, will only allow his sixth favorite 
polka songs to be played in rotation here. So it's the same six all day long. So there's that. Machismo, the manly mint. Among, uh, among all the other zany stuff they have as far as candy and stuff, they also have some weird novelty items, such as bacon bandages. Actually, there's a whole selection here of bandages. There's skin art bandages, Abraham Lincoln, Edgar Allan Poe, mustache bandages, and of course, What's a bandage without Jesus on it? You know, along with all the uh, American uh, candies from, from way back, they also have candies from around the world, like Australia. Uh, they have some uh, panda. I'm not sure what that is. And they have uh, candies from Australia, from... Uh, from Europe, like the UK. Um, they have some Japanese candies here. Another really interesting thing they have here is they, they have an old pappy, old pappy fortune teller. I'm gonna go ahead and have pappy tell me what my fortune is. Okay. Here's Pappy, the wise old miner, and I've got a fortune that's just for you today. Listen up close now. Men of genius are admired, men of wealth are envied, men of power are feared, but only a man of character is trusted. That's right. Although it's also to your benefit to bribe your friends a little bit from time to time, you know. <laughs> Pappy's full of good advice. Give me a little more moolah and I'll tell you more. Oh, Pappy. Pappy's running a scam here. Okay. Okay. Aside from all the the, uh, the popular candies that you would expect in a candy store, they have some stuff that I haven't seen in years, like a a Clark bar. I haven't seen a Clark bar in forever. And this one, I haven't seen this since I lived in Modesto, a Rocky Road. And who knows if they still even have these in Modesto. And I remember going up to the... Um, the uh, liquor store that was in my neighborhood to buy my mom a pack of cigarettes when you still could do that and I would, I would buy myself a Rocky Road what? candy bar a Rocky Road candy bar I haven't had one of these since no. I was a kid so I'm gonna get one now <laughs> can you believe this gang a zag nut oh. I'm buying this where's my cart you know, when they said that they had the uh, world's largest selection of licorice, they weren't kidding. Licorice, as far as the eye can see, look at that. Man, this is uh, Dr. Dr. Pepper flavored licorice, and W. About everything. This is incredible. <sighs> I think I'm going to pass out. You recognize that music, gang? Well, if you do, you know what this is. They have a TARDIS here. <laughs> a TARDIS. Check it out. Yeah, switches and levers. How are you guys liking that? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I'm heading over to what they call the nostalgia table. And I am on a mission for something that I haven't had in years. I did find these one time when I was at an airport. Uh, I believe it was down south somewhere. Maybe it was New Orleans. But anyways, that was the last time, and this is about probably six or seven years ago I actually saw these. 
But I haven't seen them since. And from what I understand, this is the only place uh, north of um, Missouri that, could, that you could get these. And I haven't seen it yet. But here we go. And there they are. Right here. Here we go. Chuckles. Chuckles. I haven't had. I haven't seen these in forever. So, I'm gonna go ahead and. I'll just leave a few for some people. Um, this is like, again. Okay, I know that some of my folks out there that are closer to my age are probably having severe flashbacks. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Sally? Oh, you're not Sally. Sally? What did you find? Socks. Socks. Remember those, gang? What else? Pop rocks. Pop rocks. <laughs> well, look, I got six lips. Remember six oh, lips? Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Chuck, remember that? Remember those? Show the camera. Check it out, guys. <laughs> candy cigarettes. Remember these? They have the, all these candy cigarettes. I thought they kind of outlawed these. But apparently, you can still buy a pack of candy cigarettes. You want a pack of candy cigarettes? Yeah, candy cigarettes. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they have uh, more than just candy here, Nigel. They have, uh, they also have a fine selection of assorted meats. They have some meats in here. They have sausages and more sausages. Over here they have some sausages and hamburgers. Some uh, pickled eggs. Regular, just regular pickled eggs or uh, jalapeno eggs, red beet eggs. If I gave you twenty dollars, Nigel, would you eat? Would you even take a bite out of that? That uh, red pickled egg, red beet egg. If I gave you fifty dollars. Would you take a bite, just a, a small bite out of this mustard egg? No? I had to think about it for a second, didn't you? Yep. All right. If you want your candy bacon infused, you come to the right place, because look at here, the bacon shop. It's over here, too. So this whole area here, there's nothing but bacon. Bacon, bacon? Candy canes. Do you need a bacon wallet? I could use a bacon wallet. Only if it's full, right? So I can put my bacon money in there so I can buy my bacon lollipops. Oh, here we go. Bacon scented mustache. A bacon scented mustache. I don't make the ladies just cut for running. Bacon scented Wow. Bacon silk. Bacon necklace. Bacon necklace. There we go. Bacon. 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 Bacon, bacon, bacon. What do you hear? Of course, Larry the Cable Guy, he's endorsing his Bacon Ranch Tater Chips. Yeah. Made of the finest ingredients. Bacon dressing. 
Do they have bacon flavoring? Bacon. That was my next question. Do they have bacon frosting for cakes? And there it is. Wow. Bacon salt. Wow. Bacon. This is bacon candy cane. Bacon candy cane. Yeah, we saw the bacon candy cane. Bacon pop. Wow. You know. You don't see them making stuff out of turkey, do you? You don't see the turkey flavored sodas. Yeah. So, I say the pig is the miracle animal. Okay, we are all done at the uh, candy store. And we got ourselves a giant box of candy here. You there? Sally got some bacon stuff. So, we're gonna go home and eat it all right now, okay?